This is the inside of a booming business in downtown Portland, Maine, a medical marijuana dispensary. Wellness Connection of Maine opened in 2011 with two employees serving around 200 people. Today, they operate four dispensaries with more than 60 workers and about 10,000 patients. It has been a period of rapid growth. Their cannabis has grown and packaged at a facility in Auburn, Maine. It's then shipped to shops and sold alongside edible products, liquid extracts, and marijuana paraphernalia. Eligible patients who have proper documents are called to a counter, where staff help them figure out what they need. It's much more than an in and out visit. I would say that our staff are, are really good at connecting with our patients. About 20 miles south in Biddeford, a trip to Canuvo is almost like going to the doctors. It's very similar to that. Located in an area near other medical professionals, Canuvo staff meets with patients one on one in dispensing rooms. People are still a little uncomfortable with going ahead and shouting to the world, you know, this is what I choose for my medication. Medical marijuana's success in Maine is something Sanctuary ATC hopes to experience in New Hampshire. This is the time for the patients to actually start having a conversation with their health care provider. It's one of three companies that will operate four dispensaries in the state. Sanctuary will set up shop in Plymouth. Medical director David Syrick says security will be tight and they'll work with patients to individualize their treatment. There were 14 applicants total and we were one of the three chosen and that kind of states itself that states for itself that no one should really have any trepidations about us succeeding in this industry. Sharon Curall sits on the company's board of directors and is a qualifying patient. She has multiple sclerosis and Crohn's disease. I made friends with people in California and Colorado who have my qualifying conditions who use medical cannabis and the results are life-changing for them. They can sleep at night they are pain free. State law says qualifying patients can have up to two ounces of marijuana every 10 days. So we'll be regularly inspecting their cultivation sites and their dispensary sites to make sure that they're in compliance with, uh, with the applicable rules. And, uh, you know, we'll certainly work collaborative with them. We've had a great working relationship with all three entities at this point. In Maine, dispensaries say being good partners in the community is just as important as helping their patients. These businesses have an interest in being good neighbors for their communities, in doing it right. Um, and in part, it's because of those stereotypes that have built up. I have to protect my license for the people who are literally counting on us every week, so I take that very seriously. With the right plan, they say the future of medical marijuana is bright in the Granite State. And as long as there's education and communication, I think there's, a, there's you know, great things that can happen. Police in Maine say they haven't seen any problems with crime around those dispensaries. If you'd like to see the list of qualifying conditions for medical marijuana in New Hampshire, visit this story on WMUR.com. In the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.